everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and another Asda Grocery Haul. Today is Saturday the 30th of January and this is what we've got at Asda for a family of four for a week. And there's a couple of things that we also got from Morrison's that we couldn't get at Asda because Asda didn't have any decent peppers or bananas. Their fruit and veg is getting worse. Anyway, let's get on with it. So we'll start with the fruit and veg. Jack got two punnets of plums and I just noticed as I was unpacking it, look, that is what I mean about their fruit, it's shocking. And he also got a 1.2 kilogram bag of the sweet clems. That's all the fruit that we got. Uh, like I said, there was no decent bananas and our berries and things we've got frozen. I got a punnet of mushrooms, a net of red onions, a pack of green beans, a pack of carrots. I got a bag of Albert Bartlett potatoes this week because I'm going to have a go at making my own roast potatoes for a change. Right on to the meats and things. We got our favourite Welsh cheddar and smoked bacon pork sausages. I'm going to use some of them for a sausage casserole but Abby doesn't like some of the stuff that's in that so she'll just be having them as normal sausages. I got a big pack of chicken breast fillets and I'll tell you later on when I come to the cupboard stuff what I'm going to do with those. The three for ten pound this week I got the loaded Cajun fillets which we love, the nacho and chili cheese crumb chicken fillets which we love and the tikka brick and Bricken? British chicken breast steaks, which are also delicious. So that was three for ten pounds. I also got the garlic and herb cook in the bag, roast in the bag, um, whole chicken, which we love. I'm going to make a roast chicken tomorrow night, and that's what the roast potatoes are going to be for. I just realised it's going to be a very chicken heavy week. <laughs> And I got some southern fried goujons for Abby and Brooke for one of the days when Jack and I are having fish. Talking of that, this is what I was talking about. It was the Whitby Seafoods Lemon and Pepper Goujons, fish goujons. I saw these on Rachel's channel, Hay Bales, and thought, oh yeah, I fancy some of them. So Jack and I are going to have them one night this week um, when the girls have their goujons. Brooke was needing more fish fingers and Asda were pretty much out of fish fingers as well so I usually get a big pack but they only had the 10 pack. We got these for the puppies, they are CWUs as always, I can't say the words out loud or they'll think they're getting one. Um, and we got two packs of these like I was meant to last week but they only, delivered, they only gave us one. On to the side dishes now, we got a pack of the sweet potato fries as always pack of the crispy potato slices as always they're firm favorites in this house as are the smoked paprika shake shake fries and we got a packet of ready-made mash yes i know i've got potatoes there but i've not got the energy to mash them especially because i'm low down in the chair have you ever tried actually sitting down mashing potatoes it's not easy so it's easier just to buy them ready done and I got a pack of the Asda Yorkshire puddings, the fresh Yorkshire puddings, they are delicious. Um, Abby and I will have them with our roast chicken tomorrow, Jack doesn't like them. Jack got a bottle of Florida style orange juice. I've been loving having fresh soups for lunch, so I got one of the Asda chicken and mushroom soups. And I got... The Scotty brand lentil soup, which I got last week and really, really liked it. I wasn't too keen on the chicken and rice one, but I really liked the lentil one, so I got that again. And I asked Jack to pick up the, the roast chicken gravy, which was beside the chicken and the Yorkshire puddings, but I've just realised he's accidentally picked up the beef and red wine gravy. It doesn't matter, we'll still use it. Who cares it is with chicken? <laughs> and that's gluten free, which is quite good to know got two packs of the ready-to-eat pork cocktail sausages, again for the dogs. And again, I've just noticed one of them's open, but I've got a feeling it was maybe um, us when we packed them in the bag. So the dogs aren't going to care anyway. I've got two of the two pints of the semi-skimmed milk. And I got the four pack of the Muller Light Greek style luscious lemon yogurt. 
um, because I do like yogurt now and again but not all the time so they're in date until the 22nd of February it's perfect if I'm having fruity couscous or something right so on to the cupboard items I got these eight toasting waffles from McVitie's again I think it was Rachel that I saw having uh, toasted waffles with fruit for breakfast and I thought oh yeah I could really go that so I'm gonna have them as breakfast one day next week and um, I'll just have them with some defrosted berries and maybe some of that yogurt. We got our usual bread of the King's Mill 5050. Right, the chicken that I showed you earlier, I'm going to make the Nando's Peri Peri Bag and Bake Lemon and Herb. And I saw these on Tracy's channel, the Mad Scots Lass, and I was like, oh, I forgot about them. I had them years ago, but um, I've never had them for a long, long time. So I got them and I saw this as well. And I saw that as well and thought that looked really nice. It's a rice meal one pan kit. Chick chicken? Chilli and garlic. So basically, you fry your chicken, add onion and peppers, add the seasoned rice, stir in the cooking sauce, season mix and water, bring to the boil, cook it for 10 minutes and then eat. And I thought, ooh, that sounds lovely. So yeah, go and give that a go this week. I got a tub of passata and a tin of chopped tomatoes, that's to go with the sausage casserole. Oh, ours are the butter beans. Again, it was Rachel's channel that I saw the sausage casserole on. I'm loving, but now that I've changed my diet, I'm loving looking at different people's channels for inspiration for meals. Jack's soup, he usually gets a four for three pound, but he noticed today that they, uh, they do four for three pound or eight for five pounds, so he decided to get the eight. So you got a cream of mushroom, a cream of tomato, lentil and bacon, scotch broth, pea and ham from a chicken. Now that's clever. When I said that, he said I was showing my age. A tomato and basil, a spring vegetable and a lentil. Jack got his Weetabix protein drinks for his breakfast. He got one, two... Three vanilla and two strawberry this week. I take it they didn't have any chocolate. I was needing more salad cream, so I picked that up. I am loving the Dolce Gusto coffee just now. So I got a pack of the Latte Macchiato, which is lovely, and a pack of the Costa Caramel Latte. Abby loves preparing that at night and putting it in the fridge, then having it as an iced coffee in the morning. Abby wanted a jar of Nutella, because pancakes love Nutella. Brooke was needing cereal, so I got her the chocolate Weetabix crispy minis for a wee change, and I might have some of them as well. I've not had them for ages. <laughs> On to the treaty type things. We got a box of the Fibre One bars, the chocolate fudge brownies. Abby wanted some caramel shortcake, so I got her the pack of Asa's caramel shortcake, and I got Brooke the Brookie Bites. They are two for three pounds. It's the weekend, so Jack and I are relaxing um, food-wise and just still being sensible, but having a wee treat. So Jack got himself a dairy milk caramel, and I got myself this. I love the winter edition, the dairy milk, and this will be exactly the same, but it's rabbits that's on it instead of Christmas trees, and it's basically um, milk chocolate topped with white chocolate. So good. I got Abby the multi pack of twirls. They still didn't have any peanut butter Kit Kat, chunky Kit Kats for Brooke, so I got her the white chocolate ones instead. Sorry about the dog barking. What? Did you hear me talking about the chicken wings? Did you? This is why I don't normally say the word chicken wings, because they get all excited. Where's the other one? Where's Clyde? There he is! <laughs> Come on then. I'd be as well while I'm here to showing you what I'm always talking about with their chicken wings. When you buy them, don't cook them. Just put them straight in the freezer raw and then you can feed them to the dogs raw as a treat. There we go. Good girl. They're very good for their teeth because the bone's frozen. The bone won't splinter because they've not been cooked. There we go, Clyde. And we molly.
And that's how you do it. Simple. Sorry about that. Hopefully we'll get peace now. Yeah, they still didn't have the peanut butter chunky Kit Kats, so I got Brook the White ones instead. I got them both a packet of the multi-packs of Freddo's. And I got Brooks Time Out wafers. That was quick. You're a greedy big dog. <laughs> right, on to the drinks now. Jack treated himself to a little bottle of wine. He got the Yellowtail Pinot Grigio, which is one of his favourites. I got Brooke the Volvic Touch of Fruit Sugar Free Watermelon Water. I got three of my Raspberry Pepsi Max, as I normally do. I got Abbey cans of just normal 7-Up Free this week. It was the cherry ones last week. We got a bottle of the No Added Sugar Double Strength Squash Lemon and Lime. I got Brooke her cherry aid, as does own ones, and Jack got a bottle of Bar's Lemonade. And finally, non-food items. I got a pack of multi-surface cleaning wipes. I was needing deodorant, so I got the Nivea Perlum Beauty, which was only 95 pence, I think. And the Impulse Teas, which I like. And Jack got the David Beckham Instinct. That was everything from Asda. And this week it came to £126.27. Right, I'll show you quickly what we got in Morrison's. We went in for peppers. Now, again, they were very low on peppers. I don't know if there's a pepper shortage going on in the country just now. So I usually like to get an orange or yellow and a red pepper, but they only had the packs of red pepper, so that's fine. It was a pack of three. And the bananas was the other thing that we went in for. Again, most of them are really, really green. So, you know, most of their bananas you couldn't eat for about four days. And while we were in there... I saw these and thought, oh, they look good. I love a scotch pie. For anyone who doesn't know, I don't know if you only get them in Scotland. I'm not sure. It's basically pastry with some mince inside it, but not um, not like runny mince. It's set mince. It's solid mince. It's not in gravy or anything like that. It's really, really nice. I finally found the orange Malteser bunnies. So they were doing two for a pound on them. I picked up the last four that they had. I've not tried them yet, I'm desperate to try them. And my favourite tiffin now, the handmade caramel tiffin from Morrison's is amazing. As you can see, Jack and I have already tucked in. There are two slices left. Wait, I'll show you what it looks like. It's so good. This is it. So there's a layer of Norman, normal tiffin on the bottom, which is like chocolate and biscuit and raisins and things. Then you've got a layer of gooey caramel and then you've got a layer of chocolate on the top. It is so, so nice. Oh, and I just spotted the little bottle of cinnamon zero sugar coke. Yum! Finally in Morrison's, Jack got a paring knife. And that was it. So in Morrison's we spent £16 exactly. So that is everything for this week and I hope you have enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you think I would like out of Asda that I've not been getting, or just say hello in general. There's me in the in the thingy. Look, oh, hello. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go now. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed it. Are you gonna say goodbye? You saying bye bye? No. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.